Hi there, Rachel Jane Groover here and welcome to Awaken TV this week. We are still in Scottsdale, Arizona, finishing up our sixth day of a six day teacher training in the art of feminine presence. It's been amazing. And this morning we've covered a lot of territory over six days. This morning we we're talking about the importance of not identifying with your thoughts and emotions and all the things that we keep thinking that this is me and we get pulled into the, the righteousness or the blame or the worry or the fear or whatever it is that we're still doing to create suffering. And what Art of Feminine Presence does is it gives you practical tools and the tangible, like in the moment, direct experience of what a lot of spiritual teachings share, mentally at least. This is the concept of it. This is how it should go and this is how it should feel and actually take you into it. And that's what I want to do. I just want to share just a couple of minutes here of some inquiry that I want you to be with and spend a little bit of time right now, not later, right now with me. So just pop everything away. I promise it will only go for a couple of minutes and I want you to be with my voice, be with the words that I'm saying and check in with your body about your response. Check, check in with your, your field, your energetic field and your mind with this response. So if the name of the game is to notice what is you, what is truly the essence of you and what is not and that keeps you in suffering, then I want you to tune into this idea of what you buy or accumulate or, or, or bring into your experience and what is not ever accumulated, it just is. So let's start with your home. Is your home you or did you buy or rent or accumulate your home? Just breathe that question in and answer it. Now move to your car. Is your car who you are? Or is it something that you have bought or borrowed or accumulated? You've brought in to your experience. Now I want you to go to your shoes and are, the, are your shoes you? Sometimes I like to think they are. Just kidding. Are your shoes you? Or are they things you've bought or accumulated? You've brought into your experience. These are all things that you have brought into your experience. So now move to your thoughts. Are your thoughts you? Or are they things that you have also brought in from past experience? That you've accumulated this way of thinking that's different to another person's way of thinking. What about your emotional response? Is that you? Or is it things that you have gathered from past experience, past habits? You've accumulated this way of emotionally reacting. So as you go into this question with everything, things you've bought, things that you feel so attached to in your life, is your spouse you? No, it's something you've brought into your life. It's the same as your thoughts and your bodily sensations when certain things happen and your emotions and that they're not you, they're things that you have accumulated. And so if they are all the things you've accumulated, what is it that you have not bought or brought in that has always been there? Just drop back into your heart, to the center point of your head, the center point of your pelvis, and ask that question before we say goodbye here. If all of those things have been bought, brought in from past experience or accumulated, what is left? What is left that is none of those? To 
what remains present, non-moving. If you can't bring it in or get it or buy it, you can't lose it. And that's the practice for the week. Right? Not to just go, I already know this, because I already know you know this. <laughs> I'm very clear you already know this. But it's this journey from the intellectual knowing to your direct experience that most people who come to Art of Feminine Presence do not directly experience most of the day. They're on their way. They've been on a path for a long, long time way more conscious than most people. These women are amazingly beautiful and open and willing and conscious and have done a lot of work. But the, but the real work is to go from what you intellectually know to letting it land in your body and so that you, that you experience life that you're not your thoughts, that you experience life out of suffering, not that you just know about it and you know that's the way it should be. So thanks for tuning in. The resource of the week continues to be The Awakening. The Awakening is a three-day experience for any of you that are business owners, transformational leaders, you want to speak and share a message that will raise the consciousness of this planet. We are doing it in Melbourne, Australia, October 26 to 28. I'll make sure all the details are below. Thank you so much for being here and being on this path to The Awakening process with all of this tribe and many, many people right now in this world. It starts with us versus projecting all our thoughts and emotions onto everybody else that we're seeing on TV, in politics, uh, in, the, in the coffee shop over the, over the next table from you. Keep coming back to you. And we'll see you next week on Awaken TV. Take care.